Hello. Well, hello. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? Good. I'm great. Thanks for coming to visit. I'm excited. You want a tour? I would absolutely love to see everything right. you have. I don't have the prescription, though. You're not going to take any medicine with no, you? No, I can't. No. I will get none. But you can see what it looks like. Yes. We will look, but no touch. Okay, so what I've been telling everybody in Canada, I'm like, I'm going to Los Angeles. They're like, great, what for? I'm like, I'm gonna go meet Snoop Dogg. Doctor. <laughs> well, it's funny because when Snoop got his doctor's note for the first yes. time, he was so blown away that I was able to get him this letter yeah. that he didn't have to go to jail if they got caught with cannabis. So, cool. so he tells all of his friends, and everybody always says, Every day, how do you do this legally? Right. Oh, call Dr. Dina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like, okay, then you get my phone starts to ring. Hi, is this Dr. Dina? And I'm yeah. like, I'm not a doctor. Who is this? And that was kind of the joke for That's years. That's so funny. And now everyone just calls me Dr. Dina. So how did you get into this business? It fell into my lap. I had a friend that contacted me one day, said he had cancer, and I was going to do whatever it took to help him. Okay. And I found out that cannabis was the only thing that helped him hold his chemo down. Right. And so from there, I just started researching. I couldn't find a doctor that would even write him a recommendation, as you already had a problem yes. today. So I drove up to San Francisco, okay. found one doctor, brought him down here to start seeing patients. Great. And from there, we realized, where are they going to get their medicine? OK. I couldn't send them to the park. So here we are. I believe, truly, that we have the biggest selection of cannabis edibles probably throughout the world. That's awesome. Um, we don't even have all of them out because we ran out of room. So these would be your chocolate bars. The 420 bars. Over cool. here you have lozenges and gummy bears. Okay. And the gummy bears, are those are serious. This is a CBD pill. This is the future. The CBD mixes are the pills. future. And these pills, it's like take your, take your medicine. Take your medicine. Here is something really cool. Is that it's a, a meat stick? It's a fruit roll-up. Ah, okay. With hash in it. It's a hash roll-up. It's a hash roll-up. This is where it all happens. Okay, cool. So I it's a secret door. Back. This is the resident guard dog here. This is Lola. Does your dog do any okay. tricks? Um, well, she's a very opinionated dog. I don't know about tricks. Okay. Lola, how do you feel about the DEA? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a narc, bro. Why is she like that? She was here during a DEA raid. When they come in, they've smashed all the doors and they scream, DEA, DEA, get down. And she was traumatized by it. We're gonna be going into the grow room, but um, plants need to have light uh, and they need to have uh, darkness as well. So we're in a darkness time. We can't turn on the, the it's actual- It's their bedtime actually. And we have to turn on a special light. It's a green light and the plants cannot see that color. Okay. So we're not really gonna be waking them up. Let there be light. What do you do with all this herb? Well, believe it or not, this actually really isn't that much. Really? To me, no. Um, but this is future medicine for the collective. The best way to get the best prices on your cannabis for your patients is to grow it yourself. Right. You also know what's going into your plants. So these are organic. Um, they're using actually a, a vegan mix of food. Oh, yeah? Yep. And no pesticides. We feel confident when we have to give it to a really sick patient that there's nothing bad in here. What's your favorite part of the job? Helping people. I mean, that's really my favorite, is seeing someone come in when they're really sick, yeah. and then you wait a few months, and they start coming in, and they have a whole new lease on life, whether yeah. it's they're cancer-free, or their child has stopped having seizures, or, wow. you know, it's really mind-boggling that for someone like me who never went to medical school can actually give someone that kind of result. And to cool. me, that's so rewarding.